Snooper Thursday! Woo! And we're down in San Diego at Society Brewing Company with uh, Travis and Doug. We're drinking the Harlot oh, right yeah. now, which is, is one of your best selling beers, is that right? Probably, well, everything sells pretty evenly. Okay. And that's... It's like they're all best sellers. Yeah. <laughs> so, demand wise though, it is, it's up there. Um, okay. Well, cheers. Yeah. So I can actually drink it, otherwise I get yelled at. Oh. You guys have had a ton of little projects, and then you've kind of both landed here. Because you both, well, you started out at, at uh, La Jolla Brewing Company, right? No, I started out at Russian River. Russian River, that's right. You were at R Russian River, you went down to the brewery, you bounced around to a couple of different places, and then you both kind of landed here. And um, that's cool. So talk a bit about um, why society, why here, what, Well, you know. I guess we should back up a little bit. Uh -huh. So we met at the brewery. Right. And it was what I like to call love at first sight. Aw. Uh, so special. So we... Uh, <laughs> the beard. Yeah, so found out that we were both commuting a bit of a ways to go there, so we were driving together every day, and that's kind of where we became good friends. A couple things happened with really good timing, and one night after a couple beers, you know, I said, Travis, uh, something good could happen. You know, what do you think? And he's like... I he was going to say you were proposing to him, yeah. didn't he? Well, I, 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 that's that's essentially what happens yeah. in this type of situation. You got down on one so. knee and, will you be my brewer? Well, he was so. kind of like, awesome, I was about to approach you the same night. So at the same night, we both were going to pitch each other on starting a brewery together. John and I um, came to the grand opening, and the brewery itself is like one of the most gorgeous things I've ever seen in Thank my you. life. So, I mean, when you guys were first putting it together. I mean, did you know exactly what you wanted as far as like how your brewery was gonna be set up and you know, the brewing system that you wanted or was it more organic than that? Like these are you know, the options that we have available to us. And so how, how, did, that, how did it come about? It was a very exactly. uh, long process with uh, lots of collaboration with architect, uh, contractor ourselves, mm -hmm. uh, just taking other ideas breweries. from other breweries. Mm -hmm. um, it was, we, but everything was planned out. Right. We had a budget, and we said we've got one chance at this. Right. It was not. Let's just place this here, and we'll figure something out later. Yeah. Yeah. This beer was. I mean, one of the first things we talked about. You know, it's like, all right, what kind of beers are we going to make? And this one was front and center. You yeah. Know, it was part of the entire inspiration for society. Okay. Oh wow. Yeah. Now this is Belgian inspired, so I, I mean, I, I'd be remiss not to ask if this had something to do with your time at the brewery, and if there's any crossover there, or if it's, no. It's actually no, okay. the three beers that inspired this. Well, it's Belgian inspired, but it's also Czech Pills inspired. Right. Mm -hmm. So Reality Check from Moonlight played a big part in this beer. Okay. Um, Terrace Bulba, which is from Brasserie de la Sin, played a big part in this. Uh, Redemption was a big inspiration too. Okay. So Redemption being on the far Belgian side, Czech Pills. Being on the way logger side. Way logger side. Yeah. Terrace Bulba kind of being a uh, hoppy. hoppy. Ale. Right. They just That's a, a beautiful ale. beer, yeah. It's, it's fantastic. And yeah. then this was, what, 2013 Best Beer of the Year for Brew, yep. Brewing, Brewing Network? Brewing Network uh, gave it 2013 Beer of the Year, so that was pretty cool. You don't see uh, a lot of Belgians like this, where it's super dry, it's not estuary, mm -hmm. and it's hoppy, but it's all European hops. Right. So It's, it's, uh, it's got a nice hop characteristic, but it's not like I, I'm pretending to be West Coast hoppy. Right. Yeah. Okay. No, it's, it's European. It's, it's, it's not supposed to be a Belgian IPA right, in, exactly. in the slightest. Right. It's, it's uh, hoppy like a Pilsner is hoppy, not right. hoppy like an IPA. Exactly. Yeah, no, it's fantastic. So, um, and this, so this was your first beer that you guys brewed? Or? Yes. Okay. First and third. First and third. All right. Well, okay. You're, Which we put you're together talking about brewing to schedule. I'm talking batch. about like what you, like these are the beers we're releasing. I, did you put together your entire collection and we didn't say opening, like, oh, or? these are going to be our core brands and we're right. going to have this. That, that was never the pitch to the investors. It was always, uh, we're selling ourselves and mm -hmm. not a piece of paper. Hence the harlot. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so that, that was the main thing is, you know, we're not, uh, we're not going to start a brand and then hopefully make good beer around it. Like, you know, right. are you guys musicians or anything? You don't, don't name a song first and then try and write something because the song that's what i've been really doing cool. wrong yeah. no wonder none of my songs are cool so no, it's because they're bad that's why that's kind of our philosophy is all right you know this is what we are here's how we're going to do it well what beers are you going to make well we don't know yet but they're going to be good what's your compa current capacity now uh, just a hair over three thousand barrels a year okay right on the, yeah it's I, but I it'll just, grow to 
a little over 5,000. A little over 5,000. So we'll get, so we'll get okay. new tanks in the summer. And uh, it's purely to feed the current accounts. Right on. So they're asking. Because you're not bottling or anything like that at this point. Correct. Not at this point. Okay. Yeah, and when is that going to change? Plans so like, to, yeah, plans to bottle anything like that? Because I'd love to take uh, a bottle home. So. We'll bottle the sours. <laughs> right. And eventually the Belgians. Mm -hmm. And we don't know when. Well, when we get the money, but we're not rushing to bottle. Right. Right now, life's pretty good. Uh, Bottling sucks. Yeah. How has the re the reaction been to you guys coming down here? I mean, because I, not to put too many political irons in the fire, but the OC is kind of like the redheaded stepchild of the craft beer world, between San Diego and LA. So, I mean, you're coming from an OC brewery, ostensibly. Like, did you get any kind of like blowback from that, or have has everybody been open armed or? Uh, be Pat honest, name from, names. Pat, Pat from Alpine told us uh, to go fuck if yourself. we don't make good no. beer, he's going to run us out of town. <laughs> nice. So, uh, uh, that no, sounds they, like him. I mean, we came to San Diego for a specific reason, mm -hmm. and that's because the market's already primed for beer. Mm -hmm. So I equate it to, you know, you want to be the best chef, open your restaurant in New York or San Francisco. Right. Go to some place you're going to be challenged. You've got a lot of great talent around you. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely an area that you can't open a brewery and, and brew shitty beer for a year and have everybody just be like, oh, it's okay, you'll get it. Or have the brewers like you. Right. Which local. you're even more fun. Right. Because, I mean, that's you can go into some areas and you can do that, and the, the local community will give you that year to kind of get your shit together. But down here, yeah, you got to come out of the gate running or else you're just kind of kind of Oh, yeah, you got to come out swinging. There's no choice. The motif that you have going on, the silhouettes, the look, it's kind of old-fashioned ish i'm not really sure what the gangs era of new york gangs of new york is yeah. that kind of what you're going for okay so kind of that era what was the, what was the thinking behind that when you guys got started uh everybody drank together oh, okay. instead of like at home prohibition they had to go out to get their their alcohol kind of thing yeah i mean the whole thing and that's why we named a society was you know bringing people together over beer it's a great social uniter the ultimate social lubricant so you know it, it's kind of a waste <laughs> to sit at home and drink by yourself <laughs> Right on. Um, not that I don't do it. I actually do it a lot. But <laughs> with your kegs of society that you sometimes use my goddamn beer. Yeah. <laughs> if you have one thing that you want to say to the audience as far as like what's coming in the future for society, like what what is that? We're about More, to turn two. Huh? It's, we're just gonna keep making the same beers. Yeah. Well, uh, well. I mean, like, are you doing events? Do you have like, do you have an event calendar? Do you guys do that sort of thing? Are you just like come down and drink our beers, bitches? Like what? Yeah. Every no. night. Every night's an event at society. Yeah. I mean. That could be said, there's a tap takeover here every single day. Okay. So it's nice. You, you get taken over by society? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So you're right you're taking over your taps? Yeah. <laughs> every tap takeover. It's like every day, society. Doug's like, no, it's to my tap. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, no, we, we just want to you know, keep our heads down and keep making the same product that we've been making. Um, no plans as of yet to put anything new in the lineup. Uh, I don't know. It, it's hard to keep your feet under yourself. Well, you guys are kind of in that, you're in that two year plateau where you've, all the new stuff has been dialed in. You're 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 going good. You're kind of ramping up your production at this point. So that's that's to be expected at, the, at this juncture. So that's cool. I mean, you guys are you guys are killing it. I'm really happy to see you join the San Diego beer scene. It's fantastic down here. And um, you know, 78, 178, 578. As, there, as long as they're brewing great beer, then I don't fucking care how many there are here. Yeah, and that's <laughs> you know, the like, I think uh, the beer drinkers here in San Diego, now it's going everywhere, all over California, but mm -hmm. uh, you know, I don't think there's really a tipping point. As, you know, there could be 150 breweries in San yeah. Diego. If they're all making world-class beer, we can have more. Yeah, I don't think there is anything, there's no such thing as saturation. Right. There's bad brewers that muck it up, but there's satur as far as saturation goes, uh, yeah, I don't see that happening either. So, right. Thanks, guys, for letting us come into the brewery. Yeah, yeah. And always awesome. Thank and you until guys. next week, stay safe and drink beer. Cheers. All right.